Hey, hey, I'm Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to this new level of Emerald Dreams. Right, so right now I'm going to jump up here. We've got five buttons we want to press. I mean, we don't have to press them all at once, but doing it all now is a great way of actually um, familiarising yourself with your surroundings. It's just down here, this first one. This one took me a long time to find. So there's the first one. So it familiarises you with uh, the area, just wandering around and looking for the buttons. And also it sets you up for the uh, the puzzles, the climbing and the avoiding the traps and whatnot. <laughs> so that's the first button activated. I don't really see the point of the uh, explosions either, because um, we're nowhere near there, so we're not likely to get blown up. So if you follow it up to here, you can either go straight on or take a right. I'm going to take a right. And just continue forward again. So around the side of this column we have a button. We've also got a ladder here on this column, but we're going to come back to that later. There we go, button number two. All right. And now we ooh, <laughs> we're going to take a right just here. There's a lot of lag in this level. I'm not too sure why. It's only this level that lags. So I'm not certain of the reasoning why it would do that. So if it looks terrible, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Please bear with it. So we've got a third button here. All the buttons are actually pretty sneaky. So if you come between these two columns, just pop down here, here it is. Okay, so that one's actually straight up above us, but we will come back to that when I've pressed them all. And something I forgot to mention uh, last time is that um, level one that I played, not the intersecting level, but level one was called Emerald Castle and I forgot to mention that. Oh, it's lagging a bit there. And this level is called Emerald Lake and it's got a very prominent the floor is lava theme to this game and I love it. <laughs> All right, so we've got one more button to find. So just continue your way around. And there are moments where you might want to just continuously save because you could fall off at any moment. Oh, here we go. Here's the button just to hop across to here. And it's right down here. Okay, so that's all five buttons and we're set up to just go ahead and climb the columns we need. You can see from the camera angles, there's like red lights up in the air and there's blue lights. We can't get the blue ones yet, but we want the red ones now. And there's four of them. They are dragon keys. So once we've got the dragon keys, we can go and get the blue things. So if we continue along, just so we can explore the rest of the area. We've got a Clive here and you may assume that that means we've got some spirits that are going to chase us but actually no, no spirits. He's got a funny looking face. And also there's these two guys here surrounded by spikes. Continuing on. Oh, I got nicked a bit. I wish I hadn't got nicked because I wanted to show you how much damage you could take at one certain point. I was going to save it to save spoiling it. But now we know that I'm going to take damage. So continuing on. If you ever get lost and you're not sure where you're going, just look up. 
and you can see the gems so just head in that general direction <laughs> oh this is the door the way out so that's kind of the end goal <laughs> so here we go we're back at the start and we're gonna make our way whoa <laughs> nearly fell right that's just in case I fall <laughs> Uh, we're going to make our way to the second button we pressed. Also, you may have noticed there's enemies around the area, but they can't come on the land and you can't go into the water. So you are perfectly safe. Here we go, so just make your way up here. There's a lot of ladders in this game. So you want to just hop to there. And then hop to the flat bit that we can see across there. Here we go. So now we want to jump over to the fire. We'll need to do a running jump. So let me just try and... Ooh, that's a bit close to the edge. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm going to reload on that one. Okay, so I've actually restarted the um, the level just so I've got full health. So it's it's just to prove a point later on. It's no particular reason. <laughs> All right, so we want to run and jump over to the flame, but wait for the flame to be extinguished. Hop back. Okay. So make sure you're all the way in the corner. Wait for the flame to go out again. And then you want to climb up here on the right. Oh, well, you can. Um, I didn't mean to go around the corner there, but you can. It's actually probably safer. And it's not obvious where to go from here, but you want to run and jump over to the roof. Don't forget to grab the edge. And come around to the right, there is a flat part where we can stand. Here it is. And then run and jump forward to the next roof. And grab in the air. And on the other side, there is a flat part where we can stand as well. So at this level, in terms of uh, not taking any damage, is actually incredibly easy. There's only one enemy we encounter and we don't even have to encounter it. So, it's very easy not to take damage from enemies. Here we go and just shuffle along to the right make sure she is all the way around before you let go of the grab button otherwise it would not register that she's on this side and she will plummet down you also get strange camera angles when you get off the ladders so just press the look button to get out of those strange angles and here is that one enemy so once you start shooting he'll actually hide around the other side of that column he doesn't always come back out again, he often just hides around there. But if his head is poking out, then you can get him. Oh no! He's hidden very well now. I might actually have to go over there. Alright. Just 
just in case, so run and jump and grab. And then <laughs> be a pansy and run back again. <laughs> There we go. So that is possibly the easiest way to get rid of him because then you're not just jumping around on that ledge. So now we want to get back over there. So we've got a button on this side and this one is timed. So if we have a look where that gem is, the red gem, that you can't actually see from here but there is a grate that we can raise and we have to run across the fire so let's go and do that so it's time don't forget oh she veered off to one side it's all right so just come to the left and if you keep left you can run on that section e even when the flame is active so just keep to one side and you will not get set on fire and jumping up here can be a little bit tricky as well. You don't want to get too close. But if you're too far away, then you won't make it. So here we go. Here's our first dragon key. Mm -hmm. And you want to get down on this side. We've got this uh, ledge here that we can fall onto. Here we are. And this is the top of the ladder that we climbed. So just make your way back down and now we can go to the next dragon key so if you don't know where it is just look up and head in that direction it's not always the case because sometimes you need to hop to a different column but you kind of get the idea when you know whereabouts you're heading to so try be careful not to run off the bridges. I'm very good at running off bridges. So here we want to just come to this side, this column, side of this column, and sidestep to the left. We've got this uh, this crack in this column, so you need to be all the way to the left to be able to reach it. And then just press the jump button and she will vault up. So we've got a lot of nasty jumps here. They can be a little bit tricky. There we go, and then just run and jump to the next one. And just here, you can just do a, a standing jump, but grab in the air, so she slides in. So we've got this platform here as well so we need to do a run and jump when it's high I always save on here here we go let's do it oh I just made it got this med pack here and then just jump the gap and then you need to do a grab in the air one for this jump because if we get to these these points, you'll remember, oh yeah, I remember that cutscene where it showed us what those first buttons did. So this, I believe, was the second. Well, no, it was the third thing we activated. The third button activated mm -hmm. this, uh, this grate here. And you always want to save right here. And the reason being quite often I've had a problem where you press the grab button and she does not fling her arms out to grab that ledge. She's done it today obviously because I'm recording so that's just proven me wrong and there are I think there's three ways down but one of them kept not working for me so uh, one of the ways that doesn't seem to work is grab the ledge and then just let go and grab when the elevator is at its highest. I'm sure that worked once, <laughs> then it stopped working. Uh, you could hop onto the elevator platform the way you came up, or... Well, I'm doing a lot of saving, aren't I? <laughs> uh, watch for the elevator. Oh, 
I missed it. So when it gets to the bottom and starts coming back up, don't just flip back like that. Press the wrong button there. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Okay, so what you actually want to do is uh, do the fake grab. So when the elevator starts coming back up, press grab and let go again. Perfect. So just come off the elevator and you will get that strange camera angle. So just press look to get out of that. Oh, it keeps doing it here for some reason. Uh, you do want to just do a standing jump to here. And then another standing jump to this one and you don't want to be all the way forward for this next jump if anything take a step or two back and then do another standing jump and then just hop down and grab the ledges on your way down smashing so follow the path round to the next dragon key you can see the next one I'm going for up there just do the same route you did when you were pressing the five buttons and you'll eventually work out where you're going. Oh, there's quite a lot of lag here. <laughs> okay, so we want to climb up just here. strange camera angle so just press the look button and then we want to run across to the next tower when we get there there's, there's going to be all kinds of spikes and fire activated there we go it's dangerous now <laughs> they've made it dangerous also you want to uh, do a side jump over these spikes you can do exactly the same thing on the other side if you've run and jumped from the other side so just here do a side jump and you will be absolutely fine just don't decide to run across that space because <laughs> you will be impaled so this one is actually the hardest one to try and get to and the unfortunate thing is once you've got up and picked up the gem you have to get back down again not sure why she just let go then so just make your way around, avoiding the fire. So do exactly what I'm doing and you should be fine. when we were at the top we realized the gem isn't on top of this one no we have to run back over back over to the one where we started on so just hop down here press the grab button so she grabs that ledge and come along to this flat bit and because you see there's a, a diag this is a, a diagonal tile but so uh, that try and think of what I'm trying to say <laughs> That implies we do a half tile jump to the next one. But that doesn't work. For some reason she doesn't get enough height or distance. So we have to do a, a full tile run. So just go into your run and swerve. It's easy peasy. Oh, don't know if I can get up this close. Nope. <laughs> So if you actually fall off like that, just quickly press the grab button. Here we go. Here's the third dragon key. So you want to get back across the exact same way you got here. Do your funny jump. Don't forget to veer. You have to be a bit more careful this time because you can't grab this middle section. 
And from here, let her get her footing and then press down because she's got her new move. If she's not got her footing and you press down straight away, she will fling herself off backwards. <laughs> so we don't want that. So just come exactly the same way you got here. <laughs> I know this uh, this one is very tedious. It took me a long time to figure out which way to actually go. <laughs> when you know what you're doing, you realise it was actually the most simplest thing. But in real reality, <laughs> this one is the most difficult in terms of traps. Okay, so she's disappeared, so I press the look button. And don't forget your side jump. Okay, so just run back over. Okay, and make your way down. And you want to be careful here, if you want run straight forward, there is a slope there and you'll go straight into the death water. So you want to come around to the right a little bit. And make your way to the last dragon key. So I didn't come this way when I restarted, that's why the spikes were not there. <laughs> I didn't want to accidentally nick myself and I don't want to do it again because I want to <laughs> want to prove a point. I've got many points to prove. So in here we've got four windows. This one here though is blocked off. So this one, this particular gem is actually quite tricky to get to in terms of puzzliness. Not trappiness but puzzliness. There's a ladder on the wall just here so we want to run and jump that's a slope in front so we want to run and jump to the slope so we want to have just a little bit of distance because the ladder is not directly next to where Lara was standing and you want to be at a lower point on the slope you don't want to jump off the slope straight away because otherwise the ladder is just that little bit too far away Okay, so just make your way on up. Mind the gap. And around the corner is George. Hey, George. Just chilling out there. So inside, there is this one button. And, well, what on earth did it do? Whoa, I nearly ran straight off. <laughs> I'm okay though. Right, so here we've got a secret. If you don't want the secret, you can just slide down the slope behind Lara, grab the edge, otherwise you might take some fall damage, but I want we want the secret. And if you forget to get it this time round, we do come back up here so you can get it a second time. And this is the point that I want to prove. I have full health, okay? So I'm gonna save right now. We want a secret which is down there and it's quite a bit of a jump. So, if you run and jump to it through this gap, press the action button Look at all that health that has been taken off. That's quite phenomenal. But I am about to show you the much safer way of doing it. This is actually the reason I didn't want to take any damage. I wanted to show the full extent of this jump. Okay, so if you happen to have lost a fair bit of health, if you've taken a few falls, or you've had a, a rough time with that one enemy. This slope here might save your life. Oh 
Oh no! I was too far to the side. And I'll, I'll reload. I'll start again and show you how it should be done. Okay, so just sidestep a little bit. And then use the slope and grab. Look at that vast difference. That is quite some difference. So anyway, now we're here, we want to pick up the secret. Here it is. Mm -hmm. And at the far end, there is a large med pack. And now we just want to make our way out of here. So run all the way <laughs> down to the other end. You may have noticed this door. I didn't point it out. Just this odd dark tile. Oh, <laughs> nearly fell. So now we're back to this area that has the four window spaces. One of them was blocked off, but that button up the top opened it up. So now we can run and jump over to there. And these next series of jumps are quite tricky. You want to jump around this corner. Okay. Mm, don't know whether to take a step back. Okay, they are quite tricky. And then just make your way up. So just don't forget to press the look button to get out of the strange angle. And on this side, there is a timed button. And you can see the grate there. So quite obviously, that raises the grate. Oh, nearly jumped off. Oh no. Whoa. That didn't go too well. <laughs> Crikey, I was veering all over the place. Mm -hmm. So now we have our last dragon key. We should have four. Now we can just make our way down. So if you forgot to get the secret the first time round, you can go get it now. That's just literally right over there. Or if you just don't want them anyway, come down here. Magic. So now I'm going to place the four dragon keys. I've not been that way yet. So um, you'll have no idea what to do with them, but I'm going to show you that now. Just follow the ledges until you're back at the start. Careful not to <laughs> fall off because there are slopes around some of these areas. So you think you're safe and you're not. Okay, so the past couple of times I've been round here, I've taken a right. This time I'm going to go straight on, and you can actually see already where to place the dragon keys. We've got the snake head receptacles. And to get into those spaces, don't shoot him. He's not doing any harm. Just shoot the fences. Just be a bit closer, there we go. And you want to do a running jump into the gaps. It can be quite difficult though it's actually I think it's more difficult to exit the gaps. Oh my goodness wow! Ugh. Whoops! So let's try and be a little bit closer <laughs> and then just do a running jump. You don't need to grab. There we go. Okay, so I think I said that it's a bit difficult 
bit more difficult to get out of these gaps because you actually want to be careful of the flames they can set you on fire so you just want to run and jump okay and the next one Whoa. <laughs> And then just try and hop out of this one as best you can again. Okay, so we have no idea what placing them has just done. But if we come to the one column we've not been to yet, and if you'd explored that one anyway, you'd realise that there's nothing to do there yet. But if we come there now, a couple of things have changed. So we're now we are now collecting the blue things that we saw hovering around. They are dragon keys. No, they are not. <laughs> they are spirit hands. So there was a trap door up there that's now open, so we can climb up here and get our first spirit hand. There's two we need, so they don't take very long to actually get to here we go uh -huh. so you've noticed she's taken a side step just step back and then make your way down because quite often because she's at an angle she won't grab the ladder and now we want to come over to here we activate these spikes and before you could just see the platform straight ahead that was down so we couldn't reach it but now we can so you want to run and jump to there it's not very often that you'll miss that so don't panic <laughs> don't worry about being perfectly lined up so take a couple of steps forward here and do a standing jump for this ledge and just up here is a, a large med pack. I thought that was a small one, but it's a large. And now this next jump can be a bit tricky. You're aiming for the platform at the end of the slope in front. So you possibly best to try and aim for that slope backwards. Oh, if you can. Another way is coming over to here. and jumping back there we go and then you just want to run and jump and grab to the ledge straight in front and the next spirit hand is straight up here you might be thinking once we place these spirit hands in their receptacles we're going to get some spirits come at us but no not at all like I said before the Clives are there for no reason so I don't know whether maybe that's what was going to happen and then the designer thought that it would possibly be a bit too mm -hmm. difficult I'm not sure but we don't get any spirits in this level okay so now we've got that we can make our way straight back the way we came so just run and jump and grab come to the side and take a couple of steps forward and then do a standing jump here so I'll do that newer move again I don't often use it I just thought about doing it the last time I played and you want to come down the slope backwards there we go that was all right and so now those spikes are off so that makes it a lot easier to get back over but once you step off them, they will activate. Well, they didn't activate. <laughs> Never mind, that really doesn't matter because we're moving away from them. So now we're going to go straight to the place where we're going to put the spirit hands. So it's not very obvious. 
but if you've got keen detective skills, you may realise. It took me a moment to figure this one out. So we're coming to this area with these two guys. And these two guys are not just for decoration. No. This is where you place the spirit hands. So if she doesn't uh, put them in there, just uh, keep stepping forward because you have to be pretty close to these guys. Not too certain why, but that's all right. It still works. So being careful not to walk into the spikes. Right, so now we've got a new item we can pick up. So if we come to the random pedestal, oh, I got pricked. That's all right though. I'm having quite a bit of lag here as well. I didn't show you before either. Those lamps over there, they've got pieces of the ski on in them. Quite an interesting design. Then let's grab this. So I've noticed with this new item, um, if you don't go into your in inventory and look at it straight away, when you go to use it, it bugs a bit and it's labelled as load, which actually happens quite frequently in TRLE levels. Uh, so I'll just look at it just for the sake of it, I know what it is, it's called Dreams. And now we've noticed that that door is open so we can exit this level. So thank you everyone for watching part three of Emerald Dreams. Hope you're enjoying it so far and see you next time. Take it easy.